You know, it's a shame that the Sonic live-action movie is getting the negative press it is, because it really did not have to be this way, okay? So, there are plenty, there are plenty of very simple changes that could have been made to really make the live-action movie work. So why don't we go over them? So, number one, Sonic's design. This might be the number one biggest controversy, controversy ever. I mean, just just look at Sonic here. It just looks so weird and just not good. But it really, it didn't have to be this way. So, so here is uh, an older design for Sonic, and if I'm being honest, I think it looks, um, I think it looks pretty decent. So the thing is, I feel that in the case of of the final design, they tried a bit too hard to make uh, Sonic look realistic instead of making him look more like a plushie, sort of like Detective Pikachu. In fact, that is something I've got to praise about Detective Pikachu's designs. They are very faithful to uh, to the original Pokemon designs, <clears throat> but they still look very appealing because instead of going for this, instead of deviating away and going for this hyper-realistic style the Sonic movie is going for, instead we get, instead we get these more, uh, sort of, instead we get these designs that just sort of resemble, uh, that just sort of resemble plushies more than, uh, more than trying to be realistic. Now, granted, I do think some of it looks a bit uncanny, such as the Mr. Mime over here, but for the most part, this style really works. The style of sticking, uh, of staying faithful to what made the original design so appealing, it worked for Detective Detective Pikachu, so I see no reason why Sonic could not get the same treatment. Now, ideally, we could we, uh, in a more ideal world, we would have either gotten this older, uh, more cute design for the end product, or or even this one. So here you've got this fan edit, which is just a slight edit of the original. You can see the colors were altered to make it a bit more vibrant. Sonic now has his uh, peach arms, no longer blue arms, as well as his iconic gloves. You know, there's a bit more tan on the fur here, and the eyes are much more faithful to how they look uh, in his original design. He does not have to have a mono eye like he you know like he usually does over here but uh but i think a change as simple as this goes a long way in making sonic look more faithful and less well derpy so really small changes like these went a long way to making uh to make you know more appealing design in my opinion you know, especially with the more uh, noodle-like arms. It, it is just, why could we not have gotten this design? It, I think it looks pretty good while still translating into live action. So, uh, you know, making this live action did not have to be all doom and gloom, but just the choices were made, I thought, were in, were just very, very poor. And the other thing that I would have changed would have been to, uh, the other thing I would have changed, you know, number two, make, make the world of Sonic the Hedgehog faithful to what it was in the games. Something that I love about Sonic the Hedgehog is how it is this world where both, you've got both these, uh, anthro characters and, um, as well as, as well as humans existing in the world. We never saw them coexist, unfortunately, because games like Unleashed showed only humans, and then games like uh, Forces opted to show only the furries. But, you know, in spite of this, the world, you could still infer that this is a world that has both 
uh, that has both humans and these furry characters roaming around and it just made the world feel so much more alive and creative. Instead, Sonic is now an alien and he has to... And now he ends up in our world. So it's not even a creative world. It's just, oh, now he is in the real world. And let me make this clear. Uh, the best that this idea will ever be executed is Sonic X. And even Sonic X had its issues with that concept. So, yeah. So why place it in the real world? Place it in Sonic's world. Place it on Mobius or whatever his world is called now. And have, um, you know, you know, have... Have humans and anthro characters perhaps coexisting? Now it doesn't have to be a direct uh, translation because you know there is this one concept of Eggman working for the government to capture Sonic that I think is pretty interesting, and that leads me into uh, my number three point. Number three, um. Make the origin story something that could feasibly exist in the games. So, you know, what I'm, what my uh, proposed idea for an origin story would be that the human race has found out about the existence of these mutated anthro characters that are much more powerful than any normal human. They are scared, so they send Eggman, I am the Eggman. out to chase after Sonic and figure out what makes these creatures tick. And the reason I would go for this is, well, for one, it would explain where Eggman got all of his resources. It would explain how Eggman has so much money because the government essentially gave him all of these funds and then he found a way to hijack them and take them for himself. So that could, that could serve as a possible explanation for how Eggman has so much money for all of these badniks. Again, the government originally gave him the funds and then uh, hijacked it. And then what I would also do is that uh, Sonic's thirst for adventure would cause him to leave Christmas Island, which I believe is where Sonic was born in the games. So he would, one day he would go, he would leave Christmas Island for adventure, but guess what? That is when Eggman shows up, and he basically captures almost everyone, and we, we, we basically kind of go full sad AM where he captures these characters and makes them their robo-slaves. So now Sonic has to team up with Uncle Chuck to rescue everyone. So he is teaming up with Uncle Chuck, and through this journey, Sonic learns the meaning of responsibility and how to be a hero. He would, ba he would basically go through a character arc where he starts off as a likable jerk into the hero we all know and love him to be. So instead of making the main character uh, Tom the Cop, played by James Marsden... Put the focus on our real main character. Put the focus on Sonic himself, not some random cop. And really, those are all of my those that would that is my pitch for a live action Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So make some adjustments to the design and make it more appealing and faithful to what made the original design so great. Make the world of the movie faithful to the games to make it me feel more creative and alive. Again, like Detective Pikachu. And then finally, uh, make the origin story actually about our main character. Don't uh, spend. Don't pull a Transformers and focus all of the attention on a human character. Audiences likely will not care about, put the focus on Sonic the Hedgehog himself. So, that is my pitch for the Sonic, for a live-action Sonic movie. What do you think? Do you like my idea for a Sonic movie? Or do you hate it just as much as Paramount's idea? 
please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and take care.